Back here in Baltimore, a wild scene tonight near Patterson Park after a police involved shooting nearby. We have learned the man shot by police has died. WJZ live at 11 o'clock with some new details as Kelsey Kushner is on your corner in southeast Baltimore. Kelsey, the shooting happened hours ago and some questions remain unanswered tonight. Rick, and this scene is still very active out here tonight. You can see investigators are kind of standing uh, where that suspect's car was left in the middle of the intersection. There's a mobile command center out here. I asked how long police will be out here tonight. Their only response was that they're going to remain out here until the investigation is cleaned up out here. Now, earlier today, police tell us that this all started when police officers spotted a suspect that they recognized. They knew he was wanted uh, for a previous incident. And when they moved in, that suspect opened fire. Heard a bunch of repetitive noise. <laughs> Gunshots rang throughout the Patterson Park neighborhood. I could see people out the window rushing up and down the street. Police say around 5.30 p.m. Thursday, officers spotted a 40-year-old man and recognized him because he was wanted on a warrant. Unit 41 have those units used for caution. Investigators say two officers started following his car. At one point, the suspect's car became disabled, and that's when he opened fire at police. As the officer drove past, he fired at the, off the patrol vehicle, striking the patrol vehicle. Northbound on milk. Oh, I got officers say the suspect had two weapons, a loaded handgun and an assault rifle with a loaded magazine. He exited his car and took off down North Milton Street. The suspect continued down Milton Street. He continued to fire at our officers. <laughs> Additional officers and came from the uh, opposite direction, engaged the suspect. Stop! The crossfire now! Fired multiple rounds and the suspect was shot. Suspect there, 40 minutes. Cell phone video from Citizen App shows a body in the middle of the road on North Milton. Zach Bergner was home at the time and says within seconds of hearing gunshots, police flooded the street. Just wall to wall with the police and first responders. Investigators shut down several surrounding streets as evidence markers littered the area. It's frustrating to see. It's sad to see. Neighbors left in shock. This happened in their neighborhood. It's a petrifying thing. These guys put their life on the line every day. All officers are accounted for and okay. And again, here's another live look out here at the investigation unfolding. Now, no officers were injured in the shooting. As for what happens next, the state's attorney general's office will now conduct an independent investigation. They tell us tonight that they will release that body camera video in the next coming weeks. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kirshner for WJZ.